Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. Thanks for joining me today. If you've been following my channel for any amount of time um, or the little bit of time that my channel has been live, <laughs> then you know that we are getting ready to start back with our school year. We're starting back early this year, but I've already got my curriculum um, pretty well set out. And I had a few people ask me about the Bob Jones University curriculum, wanting to see a flip through of it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have got second grade and third grade um, books. I'm, I'm gonna see how long this takes me. If, if I get through this really fast, I'll do the second grade stuff. If not, I'm just gonna do the third grade for now and we'll try to do the second grade later. I've got science, world regions, which is history, geography, and I've got handwriting. And then I do have, I'm using it for third grade, but it's second grade level Bible. I will show you that because I am using that for third grade. Um, but it is second grade. So technically it should go with second grade stuff, but I'm going to show it to you today. All right. Uh, do I need to do, sorry about that. I'm filming in a different area. This is our dining room slash school room slash office. <laughs> we live in a very small house and we just recently, um, before, right before my son was born, we got our, oh, our garage turned into our new living room. This used to be our living room. Um, and we just this week on Tuesday got the cabinet behind me moved from our kitchen into here and we're using this for school stuff now um, to try to get a designated school spot because with the construction closing in the garage um, last year it was just it was crazy we didn't have a good homeschool spot and now I just wanted to have a, a spot where all of our school stuff's going to be so this is what and this is a better setup um, for me to be able to do this because I got all my books laid out here on the table all right I'm trying to think if there's anything else if you are new to my channel you're not subscribed how about hitting that subscribe button if you like seeing this sort of thing um, doing curriculum reviews talking about homeschooling um, I will be doing since we're doing home you know we're getting ready to start back school this year this is what I'm kind of focusing on right now but I will be doing more things about budgeting and saving money because that is a big deal for us and our for me and my family um, you know we're a homeschool family I work outside the home my husband does some work here at home along with doing the home, the day-to-day -day homeschool I do the uh, you know the planning and the organizing of everything uh, and then we, we've got a six or seven seven month old he just turned seven month old yesterday seven month old baby so three kids we're homeschooling working we've got backyard chickens <laughs> we just it's gonna be a bunch of different things hit the subscribe button give me a few minutes maybe hit that like button it would help me out I'm new to YouTube I'm trying to grow my channel um, and we're just getting started so right now it's curriculum and homeschool stuff but it will be other stuff later on if you're wondering about this uh, this is new I have no idea what I did other than having a 20 pound seven month old <laughs> that I'm lugging around all the time I can't think of anything else that I would have done but my wrist has been killing me for the last couple of days especially when you're picking up a 20 pound baby and throwing them on your hip it, it doesn't help so we got this on to try to maybe ease the pain a little bit and get that feeling better all right, I'm going to switch my camera around so you can kind of be looking over my shoulder at this stuff and let's, we'll get started. But let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm checking my comments um, constantly. If you have any questions whatsoever, if I miss something, if I'm scattered, <laughs> I apologize. Um, but leave, leave it in the comments if you have any questions or you want to see something else. Um, I will try to get to that. All right, let me get this switched around. All right, so we are going to start with science. This is third grade science, Bob Jones University. I have, I'll just show you what I have, because I don't think I, I might not have every book that's with this. I didn't like go buy the whole set. So I have the student text. I have the student activity manual. I have the teacher's edition book. This is a hard, uh, well, not really hardback. It's the same material as this. This is a spiral bound teacher's book. And then I also have the tests and the test keys. All right, so let's start with the teacher book. Again, if I'm if I am scattered, if I miss things, just let me know in the comments um, if there was something that you want to see. Maybe I can do a little short video um, to explain things that I miss later on. All right, so this is kind of set up, or I say it, it's very much set up to be used in a classroom. Um, but let me just go through and tell you. I'll try to stay away from the planning stuff and just stick to showing you what's actually in here. All right, so gives you the goals. Um, this kind of tells you what goes along. I guess I do have everything. This shows you what goes, whoops, let me 
scoot this over. I'm new to this. This is my first curriculum flip through. So forgive me if this is kind of crazy. All right. So this says for the instructional materials, the student text, teacher edition, activity manual test, and the CD. I do have the CD. I forgot to mention that. So there's the teacher's toolkit CD that's in the back. It has like extra worksheets, games, things like that. Um, I don't really use it that often, but there is a lot of stuff in there that you can use. If you're buying a used curriculum, I would double check that to see if it's got the CD with it because you're probably going to want that. All right, so new to this edition, kind of explain some things because this is, is this fourth? This is fourth edition. Fourth edition. I'm not sure when this was published, but it's fourth edition. All right, this explains like what is in each section. When you open this up, it'll have things on the outside, like little teacher helps and um, things that you should say and stuff to go along with the activities. So this in the front explains what all that stuff is. Whoop, let me tear it. And just kind of do a quick flip through here. This is explaining more of what's on each page and how to teach it. I didn't get the teacher book for the history. I did for the science because I like having the explanation for the science experiments. Um, this talks about how you should teach each lesson again, um, scheduling. This, um, this says the lessons are designed for 30 to 40 minute lessons. I don't do that. And I'll explain that why in a second. All right, a lot of introductory about how to teach and how to teach and all that kind of thing. Um, suggestions on how to grade. And then this right here. Okay, this breaks it down by lesson. It tells you your lesson number. Sorry, let me see if I can get this a little bit closer. All right, so this is for lessons one through 10. And then I believe there's a test. Yep, and there's a test at the end. So there's 12 chapters, 12 tests, and it, this breaks it down. Sorry, let me hold this still. Sorry, first time of doing curriculum, like I said. All right, so it breaks it down. It tells you what lesson you're doing in the teacher's book, what pages you should be looking at. It tells you in the student text, that's their, their reader book that they read out of. It tells you what pages that they should be reading. And then in their activity manual, it tells you what page to do there. Um, and then right here, it kind of gives you an overview of what is being covered in each section. Now, this right here on the bottom, I'm just going to show you, it has the chapter review and then the test. It actually counts the test as a lesson. So lesson number 10, you know, as, as you're doing your planning, lesson number 10 is actually the test day. It's not an actual lesson that they're reading. It is a test. So along with that, what I was explaining about the days that I do schoolwork this curriculum has it broke down into the 12 chapters. Let me get here to the back. 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, so this is the last chapter, chapter 12. And if you'll notice, that is lesson number 90, if that is clear enough. I'm sorry if it's fuzzy. But lesson 90 is chapter 12 test. So that's the end of it. So it, it expects you to be able to do this in a 90-day work period. Um, North Carolina, we do about 180 days. So it's, it's kind of, it's wanting you to be able to do like science in the first half of the year and history in the second half. But I don't do that. I spread it out. We do science and history at the same time, maybe do like two or three lessons of science a week, two or three of history a week. That way, if I want to slow down and I want to take a couple of days for activities which are in here and this breaks it down um, like right here there's activity for a weather watcher um, this one has an, an activity about doing a solar mobile that is something that i think would take more than one day so this is something that i would spread out to multiple days if that is i haven't looked at that really close but if she's actually making a, a you know a model of the solar system then we're going to take our time on that and let her use her creative skills on that so this breaks it down um, if you want to do it in the 90 days, go for it. If you want to spread it out, then you can like spread out the lessons into several days or you can just do one every other day, something like that. But this breaks it down for you. It explains what pages that the student should be doing every day. And then I'm just going to open it up to a random lesson. Let um, me get to the beginning or make sure I'm at the beginning of the lesson. And it gives the lesson numbers up here. So this is for... oh. Well, yeah, this is for lesson 26. It says right here, 
in the top corner. Student text, whoops, student text pages 60 through 65 and acti activity manual pages 55 through 57. So it gives you up here what pages for the student to be doing. Um, I would also go back and look at the beginning if you're confused about what pages to be doing. I would go back and keep you know, keep this, keep a paper clip or something on this so that you can constantly go back and reference this to know what pages you're supposed to be doing in case it gets confusing. Sometimes they do have you flip back and forth. Um, like in the student books, it'll tell you to read certain pages. I'm just going to tell you like right here, this is for less, I'm on the same one. How did that, that, how did I do that? <laughs> lesson 26. I just popped that open randomly and got the same lesson. Lesson 26, pages 61 through 65. Sometimes it skips around and it would say something like 61 through 65 and 67 through 69. And so it kind of makes you jump around sometimes and it can get confusing. So I would definitely go back and always reference that lesson plan at the beginning of the teacher book just so you know what you're doing. All right, I'm going to be done with the teacher book there and then just show you kind of what these books look like. Let me close this so it's not so distracting. So this is the activity manual and the text. For my third grader, I say, get your workbook out and get your reader book out. And she knows what I'm talking about because this is the book she reads out of and this is the book she works out of. So let me just kind of flip through these. I love that these are in color. They're not like super hardback um, or even, it's like more of a cardstock, I guess. So if your kids are really rough on them, they might not last very long. <laughs> All right, so table of contents, we've got chapters one through 12. It goes from cold-blooded animals to skin. Uh, we've got warm-blooded animals, ecosystems, energy and motion, weather, cells, tissues, and organs. It's really covering a lot of things in this third grade curriculum. So it opens up, you start with your first lesson. Um, the, again, the pages are numbered so they know what to do. This is the intro and then it starts on chapter one. Um, it gives an overview of what the chapter is going to be about. And then you get all these pretty pictures. My daughter loves these because it's interesting to her. The pictures are colorful. It's very, um, the information's not just, it's not boring. It's not like, read this and answer this, read this and answer this. Um, and then there's little questions along the way. Like this one says, what are five characteristics of fish? And that's something for her to think about. And then when she goes to answer the questions in the activity book, that's probably the first, one of the first questions that she'll have to answer and it'll already be in her, in her brain. And then you got little information, things like this. This is probably not questions in the book. It's just extra information and fun things to, for them to learn. Um, there are going to be times where they do activities. I should have already had this open to where you could see. Here we go. Here's an activity. So when you get to the activity page, it corresponds with the activity manual and the teacher book telling you what to do. So this is what uh, your student would be reading, explaining what to do. And then you also would have helps in the teacher book to explain to them what to do and what, uh, what materials you need to do the experiment or the activity. It depends on what it is. This looks like it's an experiment. Um, so it tells you what you need. It tells you what skills you're going to be covering. And then it gives you the steps of what to do. And this one is four pages of steps. <laughs> All right, so I, did I cover everything? It's just, it's, it's a really nice curriculum. Um, I, I really like it. It's very colorful. It keeps my daughter's interest. I, I will use it until it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> we will continue to get this. But there, there's activities for every chapter, I do believe. Um, if you look at the, you know, the lesson plan that was in the teacher book, it showed each chapter broken down and it gave activities, you know, experiments or whatever to go with each chapter. So there's a lot to do to keep their interest. Um, this is the activity manual. This is where they answer their questions. Um, it does have, it's able to be pulled out. It has the, like the holes for a, a binder. If you wanted to pull the pages out and put them in a binder, you could do that. They pull out very easily. We did not want to pull our pages out, but they kind of came out in the book last year. Um, and then the, this, because it's made like this, it kind of starts ripping a little bit. If your kids are rough on it like mine. All right. So activity manual, same thing, table of contents. And then this is where it starts. And it's not, it's not too in-depth. Um, it's just pretty much covering what they read and then they come over here to the activity book and answer the questions and it's not a lot but I think it covers what they need to know 
my daughter did good with the second grade uh, curriculum uh, with you know reading, answering her questions, and then when it come time to the test, she remembered it. So very cute. This is also in color, as you can see. This one says, cut apart the pieces, glue the pieces onto page 13, which would be right there, to complete the puzzle. Glue the labels next to the correct stages of metamorphosis. And that has that down there. So it's got, you're, you're in third grade, but you're still doing the fun stuff, still using the scissors, still coloring, um, leaping lizards, the materials, two paper lizards, crayons, scissors, tape, and two thermometers. That'll be fun. <laughs> so as you can see, it's not super in depth. It's not a ton of writing to where she's, where my daughter gets aggravated with it. It's, I think it's just enough to where she learns what she needs to learn and she has fun with it. Um, if you, again, if I missed anything on that, tell me <laughs> and I will try to do another video to cover what I missed. These are the tests, pretty simple. Some of them are three to four pages long. This is chapter 10, it is one two, three, three pages. So that one's a three page test. I don't think any of them are two pages. I think they're all at least three to four pages. Um, and again, there's 12 of them and pretty simple looking for, for third grade. I think this is a good amount of information for them to cover in one test. And then I have the answer keys and this looks just like that, except for you have the answers <laughs> written in there. And these are also, well, I say these are, these do not have the holes already punched in them, but they're easy to, really easy to tear out on this binding. And then the test, they do already have the holes put in them if you wanted to put this in a binder. All right, let's move on to the history slash geography called World Regions. For this one, I do have the extra book. I've got the activities answer key. Um, that one I did not have for the science. If you notice that I did not have an activities answer key, you might want to get that if you're unsure about checking or grading the work yourself. So for history slash geography, get all this out of the way, we have the activities answer key. We have the activities book, just like the activities book for science. This is the, it doesn't have it labeled, but this is the reader book. This one is a bigger book instead of the small reader book. So you got the big reader book, the big activity book, answer key and the test. I do not have the teacher book for this one. That's what was different. I didn't get the teacher book because I really didn't feel like I needed it. Um, it's pretty much read, answer questions, and I've got the answer key. If there's something extra I want to throw in there, I will. So let me just start with this one. All right, so this is the reader book, again, in color, very much going to keep my daughter's attention. She's not going to get bored. There's lots to look at, lots of information. It covers so many things. It's just a, a really, really fun book for her. I think she's gonna love this one. Um, and then here is the activities book. This is what they will answer their questions in. Um, this book, it has, um, the paper's kind of, it feels more glossy or you know smoother than the science book. So it might be a little bit harder to write it. I'm not sure, we'll have to see how that goes. Can you tell it's shiny? You see the shine on that? It's a little bit different kind of paper. All right, so this is a write-in book. This is where they'll answer their questions and all that. So you'll have your reader book. Another thing is you might want that you might want to get the teacher book for is to lay out um, what pages that they're going to do with each, uh, you know, the lesson plan. Um, because I did not get that to get the lesson plan to go along with this. Since I'm familiar with it, I, I can look at the activities book and I can tell what pages she's supposed to read to go along with it. Um, but if you're not comfortable with that, if you're new to this uh, curriculum or you're just new to homeschooling in general, you might want to go ahead and get that teacher book um, just to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable with planning out your lessons. All right, so chapter one starts with Africa. Let me go back to the table of contents just so you see what all is covered here. Chapter one, we're going through Africa. Chapter two, Europe, Asia, Oceania, North America. So this really is a, you know, a ge geography type thing. Um, chapter eight looks like the last chapter. Yep, this one goes through chapter eight. So the test, there's probably eight tests. I just haven't even 
opened that one up. Let me look at this one. This book is pretty, yep, chapter eight is the last test. Um, and this looks like it's similar. There's three, three pages, sorry, three pages to chapter eight test. Um, and the test books look very much just like the history. You have each chapter and about three or four pages for each, uh, for each test. This one also has quizzes to go before. So this one is laid out a little bit different. We have quizzes and we have the tests. Let me go back through here. We went through there. Let me open this back up. So back to page one, chapter one, Africa um, gives you some vocabulary to work on. What is a world region? All right, so you have your reader pages. And then you have your activity. So just like with the history, you'll have the pages in the reader and then you'll have uh, the pages that you need to answer the questions on for the each lesson in the activity book. And it's got a lot of the same stuff like cutting and coloring and gluing and all that kind of stuff to keep a third graders interest. Um, so that's basically it. This is just looks like the activity book, except for the answers are filled in for you. So that is science. This one, some of them have the three holes. Some of them do not. That one has the three holes for the activity book. Um, and then the answer keys for the test has the three holes already in it. But these other books do not. So you can, if you want to make copies or you want to pull these pages out and punch holes in them, you can. If you want to put things in a binder, totally up to you. And then we have what I'm using for Bible for third grade, but it's actually the second grade Bible level. Um, this is made uh, to be pulled out. It's got that space right there. You can pull this out and put these in a binder if you want to. Very, very colorful. Lots of fun stuff in this to do. I got the second grade because I kind of wanted it to be easy. If you know my story, you know why we didn't do Bible last year and we're picking it back up this year. So I didn't want it to be hard. I wanted it to be still fun and easy, but still and where she's going to be learning things that she needs to learn. Um, a lot of coloring, cutting, drawing, lots of things like that. This one has, let me see how many units and or lessons i forget how many lessons there are we're at unit nine this one has 10 units so 10 chapters and it's broken down into different parts it looks like it's all got four parts um well some of them only have two so two to four parts in each unit and you can break that down i'm going to break this down for the year and let her do about i think it was like two lessons a week no this one was going to be one lesson a day so four to five lessons a week but they're super short, super easy, and it's going to be fun for her. I think this is something that she's going to look forward to because it's going to be like, oh, I get to color and I get to cut things and read Bible stories. So it also, it gives you the verses to read um, to go along with the story. So like up here, it says Genesis 1, 1 through 13. So she can read that. And then. But that is the only book that I got for Bible. Um, I feel confident and being able to check her work so I didn't get an answer key or anything and I'm not going to do tests for this she is third grade I, I, I don't care about doing tests for Bible this is kind of an extra thing um, and I will ma have her doing memory verses to go along with this so we'll grade by that and I'll just kind of as I go I'll pull some some of these out and give her a grade so that she feels like she's accomplishing something <laughs> all right so that was what I'm using for third grade, um, but it was actually second grade. This is the handwriting. I do not have the BJU language curriculum. I only have the third grade handwriting that I'm going to put with her life pack that we're doing for language. But in this third grade, um, again, I can't tell you anything about the other curriculum. I can just tell you about this. This is the handwriting book. It does cover cursive. She's starting with cursive. In the second grade book, it starts cursive about halfway through. Um, and then this is the third grade level. So it is starting with cursive, cursive, lots of cursive practice. We're going to be doing probably two, three, four of these a week 
lots of copy and paste. There are a lot in here I did find where she would need her own notebook. Um, it's not all written in the book. I'm trying to find it where it starts doing that. Okay, um, so this one right here, it says write the poem on handwriting paper. So you're gonna wanna get your student um, their own notebook to write in, uh, whether it's a regular notebook or the handwriting type notebook, um, that's up to you. But there's quite a bit of the copy work uh, that's not in the book, you know, that she doesn't, is not gonna be able to write in the book. So you will need a another separate notebook. Here's another one of a, it says write the letter Martin Luther wrote to his son Hans. So you'll be copying that into their notebook. Um, but it's it's colorful, just like the other BJU. BJU is a little bit more pricey, but I think it is a good quality book. Um, so yeah, that's the handwriting. So that was it. Sorry if that was completely and totally scattered <laughs> and didn't cover things that you wanted to see. Please leave me comments. Let me know what I missed. Um, if I, I will try to get this edited and put up tomorrow. If I miss something, I will get it. A quick recording to cover the things that I missed and put it up uh, as soon as possible. Uh, this was my first time doing a curriculum flip through like that. So again, I apologize if it was crazy and I missed a lot of things. I appreciate you hanging on this long. If you would hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more things like this. Um, I have no idea what my next post is or my next video is going to be about. I was going to try to do a scheduling thing, um, but it may be on some more curriculum since this took me longer than I was expecting. So thank you so much for hanging in there with me and watching this video. I hope y'all have a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.